Hello guys, uh, I hope you are doing well. Okay, in today's video, uh, I will tell you how to repair the washing machine motor. And basically, this is the motor of Swan washing machine, and it's uh, thermally protected. So you have seen that uh, in many motors, uh, in some motors, it's written that it's thermally protected. But in right now, in this particular case we have the motor like uh, this is the this is the brand and it's uh, there's a description like 240 volts and rpms and wattage and as a okay and at this side we have the sensor the speed sensor and some here's uh, some terminals of the connection Basically, since this motor has to work or supposed to work with the high RPM, so in the spin case, it uh, spins at uh, 11 for 2 to 100, 2000, uh, like uh, 200 RPMs and 400 RPMs and 600 RPMs and gradually increases. So in particular case, this motor is not working and uh, Basically, I have uh, already troubleshoot the problem in some in these type of motors you have uh, Thermostates and here we have a thermostates if It not works it your motor will not work and you have to check this because on the basis of the, this the manufacturer claims that this motor is thermally protected so in order to f Find that either it's working or not. We should have our multimeter and here I am placing this multimeter on the continuity and uh, we have to check either this is working or not so in this case it's not working so you can say that uh, it's sometimes it's work it's not work so it's not properly working so in that case it's a thermostat and we have to replace the thermostat with another thermostats and what we have to do we have to replace this with thimbles and uh, we will install new one or in other words if you don't have this uh, for the for uh, some time or for the for a few I'm sorry for a few times you can replace this with uh, another one and you can short these two terminals in order to drive your motor so uh, in most cases you definitely in most cases you will have a problem in the, uh, with this type of thing so it's called thermostat and you can replace this with your new, new one and it's installed over in, inside the motor because uh, it has to measure the temperature and uh, at certain temperature it uh, trips the motor and protect motorate from shortage. 